So in this problem, we have three particles, A, B, and C, lie on a horizontal line in that order. Their masses are 5 kilos, 30 kilos, and 20 kilos, respectively. So let's draw a diagram so we can visualize what's going on. So here are our three particles, A, B, and C. They have masses of 5 kilos, 30 kilos, and 20 kilos, respectively. Initially, A is travelling towards B with a speed of 8 metres per second. So, 8 metres per second. And both B and C are travelling away from A at 1 metre per second. A collides with B and the collision is perfectly inelastic. In the second collision, the coefficient of restitution is 0 0.1. Find the final speed of C. OK, so... Let's focus our attention on the first collision, which will be between A and B. Now, we're told that the collision will be perfectly inelastic, and that means that the coefficient of restitution is zero. And in that situation, A and B will coalesce. So we'll actually have A and B <coughs> coalesce into a single particle, so 35 kilos, and it'll be travelling... Uh, you would assume to the right at p metres per second. We'll call it p. So, because of this, we can now use the conservation of linear momentum and say that we would have 5 times 8 plus 30 times 1 must be equal to 35 times p. So, 5 times 8 plus 30 times 1, and then divide that by 35, and so we get 2. So p is 2 metres per second. Right, so then we have A and B coalesced into a single particle of 35 kilos is now travelling towards, um, towards C, at 2 metres per second, which is travelling itself at 1 metre per second to the right, and C had a mass of 20 kilos. So that's before. Then afterwards, we have A and B of 35 kilos, and we'll call this uh, Q metres per second to the right, and C of 20 kilos travelling at r metres per second. OK, so here's my before, here's my after. So we use the conservation of linear momentum here. We have 35 times 2 plus 20 times 1 is going to be equal to 35q plus 20r. So 35q plus 20r is 35 times 2 plus 20, oh, so 90. OK. Now, I could simplify that equation down, if you like. Um, so divide through by 5, we'll get 7q plus 4r is equal to 18. Now we'll use the coefficient of restitution, which we know is 0 0.1 in this second collision. OK, so we have R take away Q divided by 2 take away 1. So the speed of separation divided by the speed of approach must be equal to 0 0.1. So R minus Q must be equal to 0 0.1. So now we can solve these equations, so Q and R. So I'm going to put these into the simultaneous equation solver. 7, 4, 18, uh, minus 1, 1, 0 0.1. And we get 8 fifths for Q, so 1.6, and um, 17 tenths, so 1.7 for R. So what we wanted was the final speed of C, and that's equal to 1.7 meters per second.